Hello everyone, you are welcome to my channel, you are welcome to GB Fashion World. Hope you are good, hope you are doing well. So today we will be learning how to drive this 8 pieces shotgun with York. Just like the picture you are seeing on the screen. So if you want to see, and if you want to learn how the pattern is being made please watch this video to the end and if you find this video very interesting don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to our channel what are you still waiting for please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so guys let's get started so guys for us to start we'll be needing our basic dress pattern or basic gun pattern as you can see i already have one here i'll be making use of a minasha basic dress pattern when i say basic dress pattern i mean basic gun pattern so this allow this pattern drafting is for intermediate and advanced learners but if you are a beginner and you can draft your basic dress pattern perfectly well Without any supervision, that means this video is also made for you. So keep watching. So as you can see, I have my back basic dress pattern. This is my back basic dress pattern. I have two pieces of my back basic dress pattern. And I also have my front basic dress pattern which is on fold. As you can see so this is basically what I have and this is the dress pattern that has been drafted out so I'll be making use of these two pieces of the back pattern and front pattern on fold can you see it Okay, what I have here is from shoulder to my bust point line and from my shoulder to waist line, from my shoulder to hip line and from my shoulder to above my nail. Do I will not be making use of that. Then the length of what I wanted. If you want, you can make hairs 2 inches below your nail. You can make it on your nail or above your nail. It all depends on what you want but I guess the one we are working with is at least um, about two inches below the new so the next thing you'll be doing so the next thing I'll be doing is to go into the full pattern drafting of this eight pieces shotgun and i promise you it's going to be very easy and it's going to be very simple so having all your necessary measurements what i will do i like as you can see my dart for the front part is one inch below my bust point as you can see and for the back part my dart for the back part is on the bust point most times I put it on the bust point or I can take it above the bust point for the back part so this is my front part what I will do is to get the mid point of my shoulder I will get the mid point of my shoulder so the midpoint of this shoulder is about one one quarter inch. You know this is a miniature basic dress pattern, so just um, will be more than that. So I I cut the midpoint of my shoulder and from my bust point, um, from where my dart stops, I came up by one inch. I came up by one inch because I don't want this other line to get to that um to the that so I will just connect like this 
did you see that I just connected and from the midpoint of my shoulder I connected to the one inch above the dust line so I will just blend this for you to see you know you just need to blend it just like this so I just blended this point so as you can see what I did here is very simple get the midpoint of your shoulder then connect through to your burst point so what we'll be doing again is to bring down the dark leg towards the end of the dress bring down your dark leg okay before we do that we'll be taking our yoke this has a yoke um a yoke so it the yoke is actually depends on what you want for the yoke so what i will do is from the shoulder i will come down by five inches and from the neckline i'll come down by 6.5 inches but what i came down from this pattern is two inches and 2.5 inches because this is a miniature a basic dress pattern but if you're working for yourself or an adult for the yoke come down by five inches from the neckline and um, from the shoulder and from the neckline side come down by 6.5 inches although you can decide to make a you can decide to use any uh yoke neckline of your choice you can decide to make it come down you can decide to make it go up but if you're working with um the yoke with the, the one that we are working with you can just decide to come down by five inches from the shoulder and from the neckline come down by 6.5 and connect it in a slanty way it's not really very slant but if you check the pattern of what you're working is not straight so i will cut out my yoke so i haven't done that as you can see i do not add a sewing allowance to my dress pattern but you can decide to add your sewing allowance to your dress pattern before drafting or you can decide to just draft your pattern after which you add your sewing allowance whichever way so this is how the yoke will look when we're done drafting and because i want this i really want this dress to be kind of um, to avoid gaping on the dress i'll be taking half inch on the upper on my upper bust which is here so what i will take is half inch at both sides please don't take more than half inch because if you do if you take up to one inch at both sides your yoke might not be able to fit in to your 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 dress after making it so what i i took was half inch but because it's a miniature uh, um, basic dress uh, what i took there was uh, 0.25 inches but if you're cutting for yours take half inch at both sides and please don't take more than half inch uh, at both sides to avoid your your so avoid having excess at the yoke part of your dress this, is, this will just make the upper parts to be tight thing like it will just help us to avoid gaping so i will just bring down the that leg to the end towards the end of the towards the length of the choice bring down your 
that link can you see that so as you can see this is what we finally have so i will get my scissors to cut out but before i cut out this pattern you can decide to turn this pattern to a bustier like your padded blouse or padded dress but because of this because of um this tutorial i will not be turning this to a bustier for the purpose of this tutorial i won't be turning this to a bustier so what i will do is to use the cuff part of my ruler and blend all the pointed edge of the dart as you can see what i'm doing using my the cuff part of my lula to blend all the sharp points but you can decide to turn this to a bustier it all depends on you i don't want a bustier and that is why i didn't turn my mind to a bustier and you know if you want to turn yours to a bustier simply contour your under bust and i believe you know how to turn uh this to a bust here if not you can just check my video on how to draft um uh, um uh, an off shoulder bust here you will understand how a bust here is being drafted out so as you can see i have tried to use the curve part of my lula to blend mm -hmm. all the sharp edges of this that and as you can see you can see the curve coming out from this so because it's an eight pieces gun that means the front part of this dress is going to be four pieces and the back part of the dress is also going to be four pieces so what i will do is that the middle of my center front i will just rule a line as you can see I just rule a line at the middle point at the middle line of my um a center front i just divided my center front into two just for me to make sure to get the four pieces for the front so the next thing i will do now is to cut out this pattern i will just cut out this pattern as you can see cut into the dots and cut out my pattern so hope you, um this video is very simple as you can see very simple and easy so i'm done cutting and this is what I have when I'm done cutting. So what I will do also is to cut in between this center front. I will cut the center front into two. Cut the center front into two as well just for me to get four pieces for the same uh, for the front part of the dress so if you open it up this is what you will have so i will just cut out this part just for me to have eight pieces shotgun because if i said when it's eight pieces it means four in the front and four at the back but if it is six pieces it will be six and uh, three in the front sorry and three at um three at the back but most times because of zipper allowance uh, it can be four for six pieces please don't get confused let's concentrate on the one we are drafting out so this is the back part of my dress um yes my basic dress so what i will do like i did in the front is to get the midpoint of my shoulder and connect to the bust point and i will also bring down the that leg then okay before i do that i'll cut out my yoke as well you can decide to use the length of um the yoke that you use for the front is not compulsory but you can decide to do that so in this case 
what I use at the um, on, at the front is what I'm still making use of at the back. But this yoke part, it just depend on what you want. But this is what I really wanted for this pattern. As you can see, is it comes in a slanty way. It's not really straight, so I brought the closer for you to see it. So the next thing I will do is to bring down my that leg. Make sure is um the that the measurement is correct. Um, bring down your that leg in a straight way, not in a slanty form, just like I did now. So what I will do is to cut this out. As you can see. I've cut out the yoke and I'm cutting out this part that is the that part as well. So did you see what we have? This is what we have for the back. So you can decide to just open it up to see the how it should look when you are done cutting and as you can see we still have four pieces too for the back we have four pieces for the front and four pieces for the back and as you can, and you can see the yoke of the back as well so we'll go over to the next one which is turning this pattern to an eight pieces pattern so for us to do that will be placing this pattern on another pattern paper you can decide to just place it on your fabric and cut it out but i will just i will place it on my pattern paper and show you how to turn this pattern to an eight pieces pattern so this is the new pattern paper i will have to start from the front first then go to the back so as you can see so as you can see now uh, this is um, the side and the and the center front this is the side front and the center front I took one of the side front and one of the center front and I place it on on uh, a folded pattern paper my pattern paper is folded into two and I place one side of the center front and one, uh, one, one side of the front and one of the center front. And it's, I place it on a pattern paper which is on fold. And for you to add this, your eight pieces from this down part, if you are working for an adult, if you really want to get the style you are working with, what you will do is to add five inches to five to seven inches at both sides. Let me just repeat myself. If you're working with the part, the the one the dress you are making, if you're an adult and you're making this dress, what you will add at the down part of your dress is five to seven inches, depending on the fullness that you wanted. For your own dress and you can see i added two inches just because you are working for a miniature uh, um, pattern we're making use of a miniature pattern so but if it is your drafting cutting for yourself or for your client add five to seven inches depending on what you want and from your waistline you're going to connect from your waistline to that point for but for pregnant women if you are making for pregnant women you need to start from their under bust to connect your flame you need to start from their under bust for pregnant women but for the dress you are working with as the flame started from the waistline so we are going to start from the waistline and connect to that point that we have made so it all depends on yours you can decide to start from the hip line it just depends on what you want this can decide to start from the hip line you can decide to start from the waistline 
you can just decide to start anywhere that you want to start but for the purpose of this tutorial we'll be starting from the waistline and you can see this is the center front of my dress block so at the down part also i will add the two inches at both sides but if you are doing drafting um for an adult or trying to get the style you are working with you have to add five to seven inches just to get that fullness so this is what we have now we'll be using our lula and from the waistline i will make a connection from the waistline to the point like this make from the waistline to that point and like i said earlier you can decide to start from your hip line if that is what you really wanted it wants for your your own pattern and if you're working for a pregnant woman please start from their own bust. that means you need to include your shoulder to under bust for pregnant women so this is how you just make your connection from your waistline uh, to that point just like this so i will just mark a straight line here is not compulsory uh, just just for it to serve as a guideline for me and just for me not to make mistake that's why i just marked that straight line so as you can see now i'll also do for the side of my front pattern side of my front pattern from my waistline i'll connect to those point like this and I will also connect from this the other point like okay we'll just connect from this point as well like this so it's actually very easy and simple to make if by now you've not subscribed to my channel I don't want to know what you are really waiting for but please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video so let's continue so i also mark this to just so it serve as a guideline for me not to make mistakes so this is what i want you can decide to just trace all this to the other pattern trace your your this your basic trace pattern to the second pattern just like this so i just have traced that so the next thing you can decide to leave your your eight pieces gun like this if you wish but we'll be covering it a bit we'll be covering the edges a bit it's actually more better and give more and um, look more better when you cover the damn part of your it's uh, eight pieces or even if you're making a mermaid or any pieces skirt, so what I will do is from here I will come up by one inch. But what I, I what I actually did was I came up by three quarter of an inch. But if you are making for yourself, come up by one inch, and I will also do for this part as well. I will also come up by three quarter of an inch. If it is for your own, come up by one inch. So I'll just make a curve. I'll just make a curve. Let me, see, let me get the curve, my curve ruler so I can just make that curve. So you just place like this and curve your pattern. Is just to give it a better um just for it to look better so i came up by one inch and i connected with a curve just like this so as you can see now it's actually very easy and it's very simple to make so please if you are enjoying this video give this video 
a big thumbs up so while cutting why making your curve make sure you blend it so it doesn't have any sharp or any pointed edge so this is what we do so did you see it so basically we are done with the front part of this eight pieces shotgun with york we are done with the front pattern and what we'll do is to cut out this pattern we'll be cutting out this so that's what i will be doing now to cut out this pattern and as you can see i am already i've, I've, I've i'm done cutting the pattern out and this is what i got i'm done cutting out the patterns this is the center front i'm, all, I'm done cutting that as well so just let me just remove my pin and open it up and show you how it should look like did you see that this is how it should look so this is how it should look like so we'll be going over to complete the back part of this dress so this is for the front part which we have just um, completed now so this is the back part and sorry i lost some clip of this video but i will just tell you what i did just like the normal thing we did in the front i took one side of the back and one side of the center back as well and i placed it on a pattern paper which is on fold and i marked oh or oh, mark two inches at both sides which i said you can use five to seven inches for yours and i also curve this pattern i came up by one inch and i curve this did you see that so that is exactly what we did in the front that's what we are we just did in the back too so I just came up by three quarter of an inch, which I said you can always come up by one inch, then curve like this, just curve like this, and we are done. Basically, we are almost done with what we are doing. Did you see that? So I will be cutting out this. you see so as you can see it's actually very simple so when i see that this video is simple is actually very simple let me just finish tracing this all over try to trace your pattern paper so that's what i'm trying to do so this is the back this is what we have for the back so when you open it up for the back this is exactly what you will have for the back when you open it up sorry So this is my pattern. What I will do is that I will show you how to add your sewing allowance to this. As you can see now, this is the zipper part. There will not be any sewing allowance to it. So I will add sewing allowance at the top part of this dress for joining to the yoke. And I will also add sewing allowance of half inch at both sides and i'll also add one to two inches for the ending 
depending on what you want to use for your hemming so this is the center back and just add your sewing allowance and this is the side back so from here add your side seam allowance which can be up to 1 to 1.5 inches add your side seam allowance please don't forget that your side seam allowance then add your normal joining allowance to the top part to the arm hole and to the side half inch for joining and also add to this side and remember to add your side seam sewing allowance so did you see that then add one to two inches at the hemming part depending on what you want to use for your hemming part and for the yoke part of this dress you're not adding any allowance at the zipper part, zipper part, um zipper part so add allowance to all the side at the neckline shoulder and hole and for joining to the yoke so add all your necessary sewing allowance and for the front also we are going to be doing the same for the front so when you are done this is what you will get for the back as you can see we are done for the back and this is the front as well we are also done for the front so thank you for watching